No way, you gotta take it! Unless it's... Family. Hey, this is a family show that we do here every week. Uh, we're back. Uh, if you saw the Carolina-Georgia game, a lot went on that we predicted. Yeah. Actually, um, a lot of rushing yards. Um, so maybe we know what we're talking about. Maybe. Do you, th do you think we do? I don't know. I just want to give a shout out to the guy that told me that the ACC was a conference of defense. You know, Duke and good old White Forest put up forty and fifty points. <laughs> Virginia Tech lost to James. Madison. I think that matched Duke's total of all of last year in that one game. Probably. probably. But I mean, you know. Um, I'm waiting for your reply on my comments. I had a couple for you. It was pretty entertaining. Not trying to rub anything into your face, but that was just that that was just funny. So thank you for that. And now we'll start talking about Furman, South uh, Carolina. Good game. Yeah, and this week we got Furman. Uh, you know, an FCS team really should be no problem. But in the past we've had a little bit of trouble. Wofford. The past couple times we played Wofford, it's it's gone to the wire, which is absolutely yeah. ridiculous. Um, I think the last time we played them, they actually had the ball down seven, um, going to tie the game, and they just couldn't do it. So uh, we've had some trouble, but um, some of the people on those teams weren't fully committed and, and were for themselves, and I think this team's a little different. Um, so, And I will admit, I don't know much about Furman and, and what they do, but I do know what Carolina does. And uh, this week, uh, you'll probably agree with me, I think uh, after that huge game from Lattimore last week, um, you may see him for a couple of series, but... I think Spurrier will probably give him a little bit of a break, and you'll see uh, Kenny Miles and Jarvis Giles and uh, Brian Maddox probably get the bulk of the carries. Um, would you agree with that? Um, I agree pretty much with all that except for Brian Maddox. Um, we saw in the Georgia game when we tried to throw him in there, he dropped a wide open yeah, pass, it just and it just seemed to really deter Spurrier. And you notice that he didn't really get much. In anything else after that and no, he didn't. his carries for the rest of the year are significantly going downhill and I'm just I think he's slowly getting worked out of the offense and right. trying to get the the younger guys in and get right. them ready because they're the future mm -hmm. Lattimore and Miles and if the line can keep playing well Giles may get some carries because he's he's that explosive oh, back yeah, he's that definitely we need. Explosive. oh yeah and I I mean I'm not going to give up on him but I'm not going to blame him if he transfers no. but I think that you know, give give this line one more year to get better. And I think he could be very productive. He'd be, I'm not going to, I mean, if I say this, every Clemson fan's going to kill me, but he's going to be like our C.J. Spiller. Probably not near as dynamic for us, but he's going to be kind of like that back where you can know, you know, he's just really, really explosive, you know, play some of, play some in the eye or whatever. And he's super spread. elusive, too. Yeah, I he's mean, really he's... elusive. You know, he's just that style of back. Right. I don't think he's C.J. Spiller's capabilities. I mean, he's not as good as CJ. Oh, the Spiller only had seven yards in his first carry as a bill, but but but, that, but that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking not about how point. bad he sucks. I mean, but anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I totally agree. I think uh, you know it's it's a good problem to have. I guess you could say um, we've got all these running backs that are that are good, and we just we certainly just can't play them all. But um, I do think if uh, you know if Giles gets in there and the line on plays, guy, I do think he can get some significant yards. So. Um, I think the game plan will be probably very, very vanilla this week. Uh, we're playing Furman. Shouldn't have to do too much um, against them. And as far as too much, I mean, we shouldn't have to do any kind of trick plays uh, like that to, to get ahead. Um, it really should be a, just kind of a go-through game. Um, idea would probably be for Garcia to probably even come out and maybe even get Connor Shaw a few more snaps. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, just in case. I'm sure that's probably ideal. But we all know that things don't always go according to plan. Uh, so I don't know if that'll happen or not. Um, just overall, I think it'll just be a be a big week. I think you'll see a lot of players play that normally don't play. Um, you know, some of the backup receivers and probably some of the backup uh, defensive and offensive players, uh, just to give them a little playing experience uh, because we are playing Furman after all. No offense to Furman, but they just don't have the athletes that, that we do. Um, so, I mean... It's like you said, no offense to Furman. I mean, right now, Furman's a 1-0 school. I couldn't even tell you who they played. I would have to look it up on my phone. But, I mean, like it's like you said, you know, they just don't have the athletes. But, you know, it's a good thing that, you know, teams like us, you know, mm -hmm. Clemson, South Carolina, them play these smaller schools because, you know, it, it helps them. You know, you pay a lot of money for them to come in and play. And, I mean, 
I just hope that this week we just, we're not this week's Virginia Tech, but, no, no. you know, being the social networking whore that I am, <laughs> I've been on Tory Gurley's Facebook and all these other guys, and, you know, they seem to be really focused, mm-hmm. you know, because I'll be the first one to tell you, over previous years, South Carolina plays down the competition. Oh, it, it happens all the time, and I just think that, you know, we need a new attitude on the team, and I think this year it's starting to show that a lot of people care more about the team instead of themselves. Right. You know, we don't, I think after this year, we're not going to have that many players like we have in recent years, especially on the defense. Mm, oh, yeah. Putting putting in for the draft early and all that stuff. I think a lot of players are committed Emmanuel to this Cook. team. Emmanuel Cook. I mean, it's pathetic. Yeah, I mean, you need to take guys like Emmanuel Cook's picture and put the, hang them in the locker room right. and be like, this could be you. Don't be like this guy. Yeah, don't be like this. You don't want to be a junior entering, entering the draft and not even get drafted. Right. I mean, I think a lot of players, you know, just put too much into me, me, me instead of, you know, the team. Mm-hmm. I mean, Emmanuel Cook was good for us. He was a very good safety for us, but I think it was more because he, Ellis Johnson's defense scheme put him in a you position, know, position to, to make the mm-hmm. plays, Definitely. and he made them. But, I mean... In all honesty, when I looked at him, I didn't really see much NFL potential. He wasn't that fast. Uh, he was more of a big hitter than a, than making the solid tackles, mm-hmm. kind of like Culliver is. But I mean, I just I just see a better commitment level so far with our team, and I I am excited about the Furman game. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say that they might instead of going to the game, watch the Clemson Auburn game to see kind of what Clemson's all about this week or whatever to see them against real tests, but I'm excited about this game because I want to see the future of Carolina. Oh, yeah. Because, I, I mean... If and it's we, in games like this where the future gets to play. Yeah, I mean... I mean, you, you, you te- I mean everybody knows Alshon Jeffrey's good, and everybody knows Troy Gill is good, and everybody knows Garcia's good, and mm-hmm. Lattimore and all those yeah. guys are good, but what about the receivers that are that are going to be coming up? Ace yeah. Sanders will get some yeah. good playing time. Nick Jones. Nick Jones. I mean, I mean, all these guys, they should get some playing time, so that's definitely... Um, something to be looking out for and, and speaking of people for themselves obviously we'd be crazy if we didn't talk about Wesley Saunders right. but um, he's off the team now um, he's another one of those me 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 guys so I think it's for the better um, now that they don't have to answer questions about it anymore um, it's done as far as I'm concerned I know there's still some investigating to do but as far as I'm concerned uh, that chapter is over uh, but like you said uh, they definitely don't need to look down their opponent you played football in high school yeah, um, I, I ran so you know how it is yeah. Uh, when you're going against somebody that you think you should beat, you just you tend to get lazy and think you shouldn't try as hard, and that's when you become like Virginia Tech and, and get beat. So definitely hope that the Gamecocks don't do that this week. Uh, any closing thoughts as we finish up this video? Um, my closing thoughts, probably, it's like you said, Ladmore. I mean, everyone's on this Ladmore for Heisman train, which is a really cool thing. I mean, I'm glad that everyone's being supportive. But, I mean, I I just, right now he's a freshman, and... You know, he's only played one, like, true SEC game, and it was against the 3-4 defense. And, um, I mean, no disrespect to In a Georgia. down year for Georgia. Yeah, and they're, they're not, you know, Georgia's not, you know, a dominating force like expected to be. But, I mean, you know, it's just one game. Let's, let's take things one game at a time. I mean, I know the fans are excited about, you know, oh, you know, this we can contend for the East, which we have a possibility to do. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, if you're going to... Be realistic. You gotta take it one game at a time. I mean, I know we're not players or coaches, so it doesn't really matter. You know what we talk about. Right. I mean, you know, Our opinion doesn't matter. We it, don't get paid millions I mean, of dollars. It, to make I mean, decisions. it's it's fun to talk. It's oh, fun yeah. to talk oh, about. Yeah. You know, you know. Look, we're competing for the East right now. Mm-hmm. You know, we've already knocked off one of the major competitions that we had. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's fun for the fans to talk about. It. And I'm, you know, I'm all for that. Oh yeah. But I mean, you know, realistically, for the team and the coaches, you know. They, they should not be talking about it. Yeah, that. they shouldn't be thinking Lattimore for Heisman. They just need to be thinking right. Furman and, you know, just stay focused on that. Moving and, on. you know, just put the game away, you know, put up some decent numbers. Right. And, I mean, and stay healthy. And stay healthy. Because we've got Auburn that, coming up. That's the key. Up. So uh, we're moving into the heart of our schedule after we play Furman. So at least uh, stay healthy. So um, well, we're almost out of time for the limit that YouTube gives us is 10 minutes. So uh, we're going to wrap it up. But uh, that's kind of our prediction slash rant on players that yeah, I mean, think – and that it's all about them. So, uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Comment, uh, keep the comments coming. We'll comment back. Uh, we'll oh, have yeah. fun talking about football. So, uh, anyway, I guess we're out for this one, and we'll do a recap video for you next week on what happened in the Furman game because a lot of you probably won't see it because it won't be on TV. So, but anyway, uh, we're out.
Deuces. Deuces. Find them on Twitter, Facebook, Find me on Twitter. MySpace. It's me, J. Will.